Good evening, good evening everybody. Welcome to my Wednesday night stream. And we've got Pierre just down in the bottom there, tossing up some pancakes. And we're just waiting whilst we're going to go and do some more gold making. So, agenda for today. Running into a tree, first up. And then, let's have a look. So, we've got mail to open. So let's have a look what expires we might have. Uh, I've got a few lock boxes and recipes we need to sort out because I was just doing a bit of farming earlier. Seen him make beef already. <laughs> hey Custer, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. And a jobble butts. Jobble boot, sorry. Um, ah, thank you ever so much. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming from YouTube. Good to see someone coming from there. And thanks for stopping by. And Gwilin, good evening. How are you today? How's your Wednesday been? Happy reset day for everyone who's in EU. Oh, we've got a few things that need to be ignored on TSM Destroy. So we'll just shift click those. Get rid of those. We've got a sale of Nomi snacks at 621 gold. I'll just wait for that mailbox to open up and see what else we got. And more expires, so let's take those. Run through those. So how's everyone been? Uh, ah, that was the tip on the ski, sea scorpions. Ah, okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Jabal. I'll have to uh, make sure I check that one out. Oh, we've got 325 items in the mail, so I'm gonna have to do this in, oops, do this in chunks. Okay, let's get this lot on first. And I got some recipes and things there that need to go on too. So let me just check my groups and that those are gonna be going on. And uh, the recipe greater protection potion, we're gonna add in, because we've got loads of those. And silk weave slippers of the quick blade and aurora. I thought we had those anyway. Let's just check that. Pretty clothes, silk weave clothing. Yeah, they are the. I've oh, got the robe and the slippers. We've got a hood and hood of the aurora. So those should really be. Uh, that will be why they're potentially not in there. Let's take that one out. So those should... How many have you got in the auctions? We've got two on the auction house, one on the auction house, which will be why those aren't going on now. Unless I change the sell pretty clothes operation to be a bit more... Um, thinking about this... Um, Ah, oh, hello Morph TV. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. And are you going to do uh, the four mythics for the weekly chest? Um, I've not done a mythic in a long time, um, Costa, so um, probably not would be the the main answer to that. I tend to uh, not bother with those at the moment. You like my streaming time? If you start work at nine, so it's perfect. <laughs> Fantastic, Morph. Yes, I like to, um, I'm kind of keeping them about the same sort of time at the moment. That seems to be the schedule I'm slipping into at the moment. Um, so it seems to work out for, for all. Hey, Mama Kinder, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. You know what, I think I'm going to keep this at um, sell pretty close and leave that for now. We'll just keep that on. All right, bags off and run post scan. We need to basically make sure we get everything on first and foremost. There's loads of stuff to get on. You've run out of drums already again. Is the maze tower still up? I bet I'm going to need to have a look at that. Earthen's going to have to do some work, I think. 
Here we've got an Imperial Moth on, Immaculate Fibril, the Ethereum Nexus Reaver, it's still not sold yet. Uh, you've got to level up um, Legion Cooking, any tips? Uh, you only have rank uh, 1 Bear Tartar. Well, if you've got the money to throw at it, um, I would suggest buying up some Nomi snacks and using those. Oh, Gwilin, thank you ever so much for the cheer. It's very kind of you. Um, and basically feed, use the um, Nomi cakes add-on. That would be very useful because then um, you can see which things you need to which ingredients you've got and which ones you can throw on. Try to use the cheaper ingredients if you can. Um, yes, there are some quests for the um, basic recipes, which you can get through, um, if there's a um, link on Stormspire for cooking. Let me see if I can find it for you. Um, where is it? This is one I used to make sure I got the initial cooking recipes. Um, mini guide to cooking. This one on the consortium Storm Spire was pretty good at getting things off the ground. That was quite a good one. And then if you want to, once you get to the Nomi stage, it's just a question of feeding Nomi and hoping you're lucky, basically. Um, let's just post that, post all of these on. But cooking's fun. Um, obviously, it's going to be in a bit of a decline towards BFA, but I'm still selling them strongly on my server, and hopefully other people are too with some things. So the quicker you can get to rank 3, the better, ideally. Um, but that may mean having to put a lot of uh, gold into it. And spread the types of food, yeah, that's a good idea. No problem, um, Jobal Butte. Is it Jobal Butte or Jobal Butte or? I'm trying to think. Or can I just call you Joe? Yeah, you don't get three times the same recipe. That's never, never a good thing. Uh, reload or not reload? Let's reload. I think it's been loading quite quickly of late. More focused on level up a few professions and characters for BFA. Yes, um, that's not bad idea, and that's what I'm doing at the moment is is getting some pro as many professions as I can up to 800. Call me Joe. Okay, that'd be easier. Thank you. I wasn't sure if the J was silent. It sometimes is. Any suggestions for getting uh, surf and turf recipes? Um, like areas to farm uh, for both halves of the recipe. Uh, yes, in that link, Molin, that I um, put on for the Storm Spire one, they tell you how to get both halves. Um, the places you need to go, I'll show you on a map. Um, in the Broken Isles, in... Oh, there's a Legion invasion on. I'm going to have to do that one. Uh, squirrel, sorry. Um, the surf part is here. Um, the deep, I think it's the deep water ones. You need to go right down under the under the ocean around here for those. Um, just around there. And then if you get a flight to here, just around the top here are the stags. And you'll quite easily find some quite a lot of stags around here. So that's for the turf portion of it. So if you get a flight here first, do the stags, and then pop down here, and make sure you go into the deep water area. I think it's along this kind of line for the, the right crabs. I think, I think they're called deep water crabs. I can't remember exactly. But those are the two places you need to do to get the two halves of the surf and turf. You should be able to pick up most of the recipes within sort of half an hour. Oh, you've got one half, haven't got the other half, yes. So so that's that's where you need to go, depending on whether you've got the surf or the turf, which is the stags. Let's get some more expires. Got loads of stuff to put on. Go 
going to fill up our bags here at this rate. There we go, that's full. Right, let's get this lot on. Avoid the infernal. And then bags off, run post scan. That's the only one you can't get from Nomi that you don't have. Uh, yes, so in order to get lavish, you need to make sure um, Nomi won't give you it until you've got all the base um, recipes first. Um, so you have to make sure you've gotten all those, which are, um, if I open my cooking, so you need, I think it's all the large meals, each of these, Barracuda, Drogba, Koi, Labicue and Surama. Um, so you have to have all of those before you can learn lavish. Hey Ryuka, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. How's your how's your Wednesday? No problem, Molly. Um, the more cooks, the merrier in World of Warcraft. It's a lovely profession. I really enjoy it. So I hope others can. Uh, get the same kind of satisfaction. Time of Illusions, got a load to go on. So then we've got 5, 86, 87, posting 123 items. Admiral's hat, hero's cape, malevolent crafted stuff. That Merlin's robe hasn't sold yet. I'm not sure it will, you never know. Shadowweed masks haven't had any sales for that in a while. Sold 19 overall. Last sold was nine days ago actually. That was quite a while. I just collected a whole load more shadow silk. Rich purple's another good one. Um, Last sold three days ago. Maybe people are. Maybe I'm just being undercut on it. Or maybe people are, who have gotten the Lucid Mount that didn't get it the first time have now gotten it. Now that there's guides out for it and they've done that, tick that box. I'm sure it'll tick through, even through BFA, I reckon, because. Um, People will always want to come back to it collecting mounts. If they haven't got it, they'll still need to be able to get it. So I'll make sure I always have at least one on. Let's do another slash reload. Yeah, loads of people return. I imagine a lot of people are will be taking a break to, you know, uh, explore other games and things like that, whilst they wait for um, Battle for Azos to come out, and then there'll be a huge influx of uh, loads of people. Yeah, I guess um, a lot of people will have time then, won't they, um, if they've been at school and what have you. So yeah, I imagine. We should get some interesting um, changes in the market. We it'd be a nice one to have a look at. I've, I mean, last when did I do my gold making? I started in August last year, so it'll be interesting to see how it comes for me at the beginning of summer this time. Uh, some sales starting to come through now. That's cool. Right, let's get those on. The market is drunk. <laughs> yeah. It does, it does fluctuate a lot, doesn't it? And each server is very different as well. Right, all this lot going back on. Bear Tartar, how's that doing? No worries, Costa. Um, Half-eaten banana for 27,000. Really? Why would a half-eaten banana be 27,000 gold? There's one auction. The region market's 25,000. The region sale average is 643 gold. So I've got no idea why that would hold a price like that. 
Hey, official Tursle, how are you? Uh, any of you on the VFA Alpha? Um, I'm not in, Joe. Um, although I actually realised <laughs> um, you have to actually opt in for um, Alpha and Beta testing. Um, and there's an option on your Battle.net account. I didn't realise that was a thing. So uh, I only opted in last week. So I wouldn't have gotten it anyway. Just posted 6,000 stacks of vendor mats for 25 million. That sounds an enormous amount. Is that actual sales that you've gotten from those uh, 6,000 stacks? Or is that um, what it would be if you happen to sell them? Why so many of them? The auction house cost on those must be enormous. Unless you're on a very fast moving server. Friends of mine you've got the alpha. Uh, yes, you have to opt in. I think it's on your um Battle.net account if you go into your account settings and there's a, a tick box for um Um opting into alpha and beta of these sort of things. All oh, right. Okay. Well, let me know how you get on with that. That'll be interesting. It's a lot of stuff. Stacks of 200. Wow. Hey, brain damaged. How are you? Thanks for coming, stopping by. Um, here comes some enchants. That'll be nice. Mark of the Claw's got a good price on it. Quite like that. Crusaders back up to a thousand. That's quite good. Um, oh yes, things like the mining pick. I've I've heard of ones like that. People literally just get it from the auction house because it's so much easier. I mean, I'm selling um, olives and the cooking um, things that you get next to Nomi. I'm selling those for a small markup. For, for the same reason. It's more convenient for people to buy things at the auction house. We went to every vendor in Stormwind and bought max stacks of everything. Wow. Tried that for crystal vials and simple paper and none sold. Yeah, it does. I think um, it's a bit of a strange market, definitely. Yeah, some do better than the others. Like, for instance, uh, these chocolate cookies, uh, Pointy Gnome has been selling them really, really well. And I've barely sold any um, on my server. So it's it's a weird one. And I've got some purchases of Shadow Silk that I remember doing. I'm now up to 70 Shadow Silk now, which is really good. A couple of sales, Barracuda Murglas sold. So people are buying the intermediate meals for me on this server. I mean, they're all a small profit. Not as big a profit as uh, Lavish Feasts, but they are a small profit. So I am still still putting the um, the smaller things on. Here we go. Current price for cookies, 25 gold. Whereas you buy them for, for silver. Um... Crystal Vials cost 8 copper and sell for 50 silver to 1 gold each. Right, okay. You don't, as in, you don't sell the intermediate things, uh, cost of like Faranar Fizz or Drogba style salmon. Well, Bed Tartar's at 10 gold 34 now, okay. You And buy every cheap mat out there, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. I do like to um, have stock, that's for sure. But I'm also running low on space at the moment. I have to think about what I'm going to do. As we know, organising my bank isn't the um, greatest of my skills. More expires, more expires. What's that? The rich purple shirt? That's been doing okay overall. Um, let's do another slash reload. 
There we go. You got a stock of uh, like a thousand bacon. Wow, that's brilliant. Hey, Skitzio TV, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. How's your Wednesday shaping up? Yeah, it was uh, Pointy Gnome that um, introduced me to the, that one. It's a, it's a really good one. If you can, if your server will, um, there's people on your server that's going to buy them. Hey, Panzas, how are you? Just sorted all your gill banks. 11 characters was busy the whole day. Wow, that's, that's impressive. Right, let's get some more expires out. And then we can look at what's left on the sales. Uh, right, the rest is all sales, 33,000. Let's go post this lot up first. There is none posted on your server. Excellent, so uh, go to Suriman, buy some up, and um, see how you get on. Uh, post scan, let's get these last ones on. And then we can start the restocking procedures. Oop. Uh, not good, your multi-box has got banned. Oh no! That's uh, Sorry to hear that, Skitsio. I hope you managed to get them back. Um, yeah, get yourself a ticket sent. They, I believe they're normally okay with multi-box um, things. It's only actual proper um, dodgy stuff. So hopefully it gets... Uh, Hopefully it gets lifted for you soon. Going to buy 140 stacks right now. Excellent. Uh, let us know how you get on with it. Discord. Let's have a look. Um, use my loop. Done posting. Um, let's have a look. Oh. I can barely see those. Wow, well, some nice sales there. Can't see everything because my screen is really, really tiny. Um, but uh, I'll have to have a proper look at that. Saw some satchels in there, that was cool. Um, yeah, someone reporting you, oh, should be fine, okay, hopefully. Um, simple wood costs 38 copper and sells for 35 gold market rate. 111 region rate, that's, that's crazy, that's a good one though. Just simple wood. And you only just got them to 100, oh, that's a shame. So, what have you got in sales? Um... The purple stuff, right? I didn't quite read the purple stuff. What did it? Um, ah, dread feather stuff. I've not heard of that. Okay. So if you buy this uh, vendor mat, you're making seven thousand gold per stack of two hundred. Wow, that's loads. You went to top seller on your realm in one day. <laughs> nice one, official turtle. That's brilliant. Uh, lavish Feast Singles, Lavish Feast 20, Iron Web Spider Silk Cells, um, Nex, Claw Intellect, Hungry Magister, Thermal Anvil Sold, okay, interesting things there, Flake Sea Salt and Peppers, they sold, see there's an example of um, vendor selling, Flake Sea Salt and uh, Talapino Pepper. And then an eye patch. Oh, that sold for 2,900. That's quite cool. Right, okay. If I click it in, it enlarges. Yeah, the problem I've got is my second monitor is actually really tiny. But yeah, I can see I can see it a bit better now. I dread leather. Ah, okay. Yeah, there's a um, there's an add-on that helps you collect all the limited stock vendor recipes as well. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but that that can be helpful too. Um, 
Right, have we got everything on that I needed on? Let's go have a check. Right. Auctioning. Oh, I've got a few more expires coming in. So let's do those. Under 30 minutes. Take those out. And then another load out. And then the last ones, the River Onions. There we go. Um, yes, I've, I've probably got it as a link somewhere. Let me have a look. Um, it's cool. It's got an N in it. I remember that. Nikon Vendors. This is it. Limited supply add-on. I've not used it myself, but I saw the Gold Queen using it. So it must be good. That one. Right, there we go. I haven't looked at it myself, um, so it's kind of second-hand information. But I think that's quite a good one. Um, I've heard people use it. Um, let's just check our auctions so that TSM knows what's going on. There we go. And then restock time. So, usual usual procedure. We start with enchanting, because especially as it's reset day, the more enchants I have on right now, the better. And we've got a good mix of stuff here, which we're going to need to go and collect. So I'm going to gather this lot up. Most of this is from the guild vault, so let's go get that. And then Sorceress Air we get from the bank. Oh, that's from Earthen needs to... Earthen's got some Sorceress Air that needs to go. I've got some in this bank though, so it's not a problem. Gather these items up. All the Arcana we need. I think we can probably get one of those thermal anvils on again, because we sold one. Be nice to get rid of those, because they take up space. Right, okay, enchants everything we've got. So this is about a 15, 16,000 profit. So this is gonna be hopefully good. If most of, most of this should sell, especially on reset day, so the quicker I get these on, the better. Gift of versatility. There's a couple more enchants that I don't think I've got, but I should be getting. Um, and getting those on, because I think I'm missing out a couple of old world markets, like the greatest chest, greater stats. I've not been, uh, I've not been putting those on. I have a feeling those will, those should be selling. Um, let's just post these on first. So, versatility, claw, haste, um, gift of versatility. Oh yes, because that's, um, that's the one that increases movement speed. People like to do stuff for movement speed when they're levelling. There we go. Right, those are on. Those are the important ones. So, on to tailoring. Now tailoring is you are to be congratulated for your success in the firelands. Oh. But praise alone. There you go. Suffice. We've got Caligos in my ear talking. So that means we're gonna have the um destiny. right. Hydro expedition will skip, but the white swashbucklers will take. Present me your Start the gathering. Oop, there we go. And back to the guild vault. And bags off, gather items. Fine. 
before I clicked on that. We also need to do some silk cloth intermediate crafts, so let's gather up what we need for that. There we go. And then here we go. Groups, crafts, groups, crafts, interface, back, bolt. We'll search for that. Bolt. Bolt of silk cloth times three. Q. Make those bolts. One of these days I'm just going to sit in my guild bank making bolts just to save me the hassle of this. But today's not that day. There you go. Hey Metal Silk, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, oh, no, we're done tailoring. We need to do cooking. Now this is going to be a big lot of uh, lavish feasts, I imagine. Groups, cooking, restock. You did that two days ago, did you, Custer? That's brilliant. Yeah. it's. I know that's the sort of thing that you'd, you'd certainly do. Um, for me, it's a bit of a struggle being that organised. It's not something that I naturally do. All cloth is now on one page. Wow. You've been making some gold? Excellent. You're now 1.5 million. Nice. Congratulations, Metal Sight. That's a nice that's a nice amount to have. By farming stuff only. Excellent. You always leave it uh, crafting bolts. <laughs> that's a good idea. I'm never that close to the computer, really. Um, I'm only just doing um, whilst I stream is the main reason when I um, play WoW. Uh, one two, three, four, back to gathering, bags off, gather items, some stuff in the mailbox, really? That's a bit weird, visit the bank for the dog bar style salmon, okay, let's go for this one, um, Nearly got 75,000. Excellent, uh, Mama Kinder. Nice one. That's very getting. That's getting up to that 100,000 mark, which is a, kind of like a first big milestone. I'll send me a screenshot in six minutes. That's very precise. Uh, bags. What do we sell? Ah, oh, the trained soldier we've sold already. Uh, visit bank for the drug bar style salmon. Um, we've not got the gather items on this, though, so I think. TSM's having a little bit of a wibbly on this one. Let's try doing just the cooking with the intermediate crafts and see where we land, I think. And sell some Hexy bags, nice. Crafting, groups, crafts, groups, crafts. Do the dance and then come back to that. So, Barracuda times, actually do this the right order, Suramar times 3, Q, Koi Scented times 6, Barracuda times 7, and Labor Q Ribs times 2. I don't think this will be enough of what I need, but let's give this a go, because this is what um, Gatherer says I should be able to do. Um, if you do cooking, you gather all the mats yourself or just buy them from the auction house. I pretty much do it all from the auction house, um, as Costa just said. For me, it's a lot easier um, because I get so much. Uh, I try and have at least 2,000 of each ingredient in stock. So in order to get that kind of volume, it's just a lot more convenient for me to pick up the good deals when I can on the auction house. And uh, Nightborn Delicy Platter. Now, how many lavishes can we make with this? We're missing some Suramar Surf and Turf and Labor Q ribs. I'm all saying visit the mailbox for those. So, okay. Let's go visit the mailbox. As you're saying, that's what we need to do. Let's move that down out the way. Um, oh yeah, I have got some stuff in the mailbox. Crafted Malevolent we can ignore. 
That must have been the cancels I had from earlier. And the river onions and things. Okay, well that makes that easier. And then we just need to visit the bank for the drug bar style salmon. According to that. And one intermediate craft of barracuda. You need something? Yep, we need to gather. Now I need to move everything out of the way so I can find my gather window. This is where having a low resolution monitor really doesn't help. Gather items. There we go. And then we need to do one intermediate craft of Barracuda Merlar, which is this one. Add that in. Okay. Barracuda Nightborn. 17 lavish Seramars coming away. Hey, right, one, two, how are you? A drive by hello. Well, thank you ever so much for the drive by hello. I hope you're doing well today. How's the um, how's the new computer? Has it arrived yet, or is that that's going to be soon? Is it? Hey, follow Goldie. How are you? Uh, gather. We need to visit the bank for some more. So go on up and gather those. An intermediate craft. Some labor Q ribs which we're going to need to make somewhere if I can find a window for them labor queue ribs queue one of those and then hopefully that's all the feasts yep doing good oh due to arrive on Monday excellent excellent well let us know how you get on with it exciting times right make our way back to the auction house and that's a mark of the claw so those enchants we just made are selling already so that's really good Wednesday's a good night to be selling enchants because people open their chests and they want to uh, upgrade their gear or they're leveling alts but I think it's mainly mythic chests. Right, let's post. Yeah, all these bits. Now, the next thing we need to do is daily cooldowns. In my mental checklist of things to do, regular things to do for making gold. Uh, ah, Silky Satchel's gone. Any more than one? Oh, yeah, here we go. There's two, three, I hope we've got at least four. And there we go, there's four. Yeah, it's a raid night, so uh, hopefully, fingers crossed. So someone's just kitted out their tune there. Um, back to the regular UI. Secrets of Drain are enchanting. We need some Drainic Dust and Luminous Shards. So let's go pick those up. Um, anyone leveling Nightborn rep, does it take forever? Yes, it does, Joe. Uh, um, it does take a while. There's not a lot you can do about it, really. Uh, Drainic Dust and Luminous Shards. Look for those. Drainic Dust, there it is. And the Luminous Shards are there as well, right next to each other. There we are, do that, pop that back, and we can do another one of those. And another temporal crystal. There we are. Hey TJ, how are you? Always four or seven. What's that for, um, Costa? Did I miss one? Character or bank? Tailoring. Doing very well. Uh, thank you, TJ. Um, just going through our normal restocks. Um, got some good sales going through. The bags. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Ah, oh, right. That makes sense. Yeah. So seven for the bank and four for the character. 
Right, I'm with you. That makes perfect sense. Um, standard UI. Hex weave cloth. Create one of those. Secret of drain or tailoring. Make one of those. I really should check that I'm not over making those. Um, doing the world quest as well. Okay, excellent. Oh, make sure we do Kirin Tall world quests and get more rep token from them. Yeah, that's another good one. Bolt of Windwall Cloth creates a Celestial Cloth, which creates a Mooncloth Mantle. Malevolent. All the M's. Mooncloth Mantle. And it's the Malevolent version, which comes in at 832 profit. So we'll create one. And then Imperial Silk, make one of those because they're cool. And we get a cocoon. And that's done. Check my bags, we can open that up. Oh, look, we got ourselves another um, Imperial Silkworm. Um, market value is 165. So is this better um, learnt and then caged? Let's have a look. So if we right click on this and then go into the pet journal and look for Imperial Silkworm, put that in a cage. And now let's look at the price of it. And now the price is 699. So it's better to do it that way than it is to um, just take it in its raw form, as it were. I'm going to pop these lock boxes in here, and some of these, <coughs> excuse me, some of these recipes could do with a home because I've overstocked on those with very little space. And the guild bank is very nearly full. That needs to go to El Morty. And one of these, oh, I can't send to my alchemist. So that's no good. Let's do that. Sam so getting into battle pets. No, not me, uh, TJ. Just just the um, the miner, miner dipping my toe into it. What's the dinosaur? It's a a thing. Let me just have a look. Um, where is it? It was on one of the pages, wasn't it? Where did I put it? Try that again. I saw it somewhere. Or its little face, its little green face was looking at me. Oh, there it is. Um, that is a obsidian hatchling, which is one two seven, and a silver dragon hawk hatchling. Um, have I got any of these on the auction house at the moment? Yes, I've got one on the auction house already. And I don't have one of these on the auction house at the moment. So let's try putting that one back on. Last I looked, it was below min price, but let's try and see if we can clear it out. There's no point it sitting in the guild bank. Battle pets are terrible to sell. Yeah, sometimes they do sell, eventually. I'm um, just, to be honest, I'm glad to get rid of them. I find them very difficult to sell. Alright, so Imperial... Yes, how have we got here? So Imperial Silkworm, we're undercutting the competition on. And Obsidian Hatchling, we're undercutting the competition on. So let's pop them on. They're not, they're not massive sellers, but I'd rather they sold and gave me some, some gold. I mean, they're really cheap to put on. That's the, that's the good thing, at least. And we also need to change our group for gladiators tailoring 
gladiators tailoring and add that one in and let's get that going as well right another um, you've got over a hundred pets um, your French server won't start any at all your high pop um, English one is pointless to sell but your medium low pop um, excels half decent that's interesting TJ so there are there are some uh, some mixes there yeah it's only one silver so yeah that's I, I can live with that just stick them on 48 hours repost them and then eventually eventually they'll sell so that's my main lot of stuff done. Um, high pops good for raw mats and cheap transmog. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense to me as well, TJ. From what I hear. Hey, Sunny D, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Too busy leveling. Well, let's have a in, in, interested to see what kind of results you get eventually with that one, TJ. Right, order of things, we've done our dailies, we've done our restocks. We'll probably need to do some more restocks at some point. We could probably do with collecting up this. Um, we've got some recipes to hand in. Um, gold mission there is probably worth doing. So, Accidentally started the same one as Sharkin. Oh well, that's there's always going to be someone, uh, TJ. At least you, at least there's someone you know on it. Um, you farm the raptors and sell them for around two hundred and fifty, um, but more than that takes forever. Yeah. Uh, not me, um, Joe, but uh, I'm sure there might be some. Um, just make sure I'm not missing on any chat. Yeah, I think I'm all right. I'm all caught up. Right, okay, so let's do a quick Dalaran run. Um, just to just to stock up on things. We haven't done any shopping. That's, a, that's something that we will need to do. But I'm also conscious that that invasion on, is on, which is a great opportunity for me to level up my troll druid. Now that we're boomkin, we can see what kind of... Um, results we get doing that rather than the um, terrible luck we had with uh, Resto and we've also got all our heirlooms on now so hopefully the XP will be a bit better as well first off a little visit to Nomi what have you got today Nomi? Um, eggs, prepared ingredients, badly burnt food and slightly burnt food well, I'll sell the slightly. Uh, I'll sell the badly as well. Where's the slightly? There it is. And then we'll we'll do the eggs that you gave me back. Any more? I'm going to have to go over to the guild bank, but we're all right. Hey. Res Resilient, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Um, how many glyphs you sell a week? Um, I don't do glyphs, uh, Costa. Who does? Hey, Jukaras, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, that's from TJ. There we go. Sorry, I, I missed that. Oh, there we go. I mi that's where I missed out. I've followed the gaps now. There's me not catching up on all the messages. Uh, glyph sell by quite a bit of high profit. Tome strike on mine so flies out. That's cool. There we go. Now I'm caught up. TJ does, yes. That makes more sense if I actually read all the chat rather than just jumping in at the bottom. Right. Gold from that. What have we got here? There's a good 200 gold there. We could get some... Army of the Light Rep as well. 2,800 Order Hall, so we'll do that one. And that's 100. For, oh, that's for the um, champion stuff. We've got that. I'll go for this one, actually. This will be quite nice. Binding of Haste is just sold. So that's all fine. Don't need... No one expired, so we're all okay on that. There we go. 
Um, if you sell Terms of Tranquil Minds, you can when you do it on a trial character. Hey, Occupy, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Right, making sure. You can when you do it on a trial character. It takes five minutes. Um, Fast way to stockpile on Arcana. Um, I get my Arcana through the Bracer Shuffle and the Leylight Shards, and then um, doing that. That tends to be tends to be the way it works for me. Oh, your WoW expired today. Sad and happy at the same time. Well, it gives you a chance for a bit of a, um, a break, I guess, Jukaras. Hey, Carl, how are you? Thanks for stopping by, and thank you for the follow. Very kind of you. Um, and Commander Bond, good evening to you as well. Hope you're doing well. At Taran, there are 95 gold, now 50. Um, your four leather working recipes from Dunn. Wow, Haggis Turtle, that's cool. I uh, hope you managed to get those. Doing very well here, thank you, Carl. Alright, um, were there any bloods? missions or bacon missions that were worth doing. There's a five and a one, so no is the answer to that. So we're gonna jump back to, I won't do the garrison things today, we'll jump back to the auction house, do a little bit of shopping, just to see if there's any immediate bargains, um, and then we'll swap over to Jawakening my druid, so get some leveling going on that. Getting ready for the mage tower to go up on NA. Excellent. I hope. Uh, are you are you doing the actual mage towers yourself, uh, Commander Bond, or are you selling drums of fury? Or is conservative spending your gold? Not a bad way to be, actually. To be honest. Um, the core armor kit eludes you. The molten front dailies and drainer dailies will finish off the last three in less than a week. Wow. Excellent, uh, Haggis. A uh, nice break uh, till end of July. Then you'll have three tokens in the bag waiting. Excellent, and then you can, um, and then you can get back in with BFA. I think that's pretty good. Um, sometimes you just got to bite the bullet. Yeah, TJ does like to spend money. Um, right, shopping. Look at the good stuff first. What's in the good stuff? Anything that's a bargain, I'll be interested in. You love to spend money. Uh, nothing obvious coming up at the moment. Oh, you won't be able to finish the engineering until next Lunar Festival. Oh well, I guess well gives you a um, something to aim for, I guess going to take a while though. It is, this is the good thing to remember TJ, it is only a game and so make sure you have fun first and foremost. Uh, King's Amber, might as well, I've only got 10 so let's take that one. And Savage Blood I don't see a lot of, I've only got three of those so I'm going to pick, oh there's 20s there. I'm going to just What's my normal price? 54, so that's uh, not a massive amount, so let's just take a couple. Shadow Silk's at 249 at the moment, someone's bought a Binding of Haste. Okay, so those are fine. Um, any good cloth bargains? Um, you sold, we've got the chats taken off, hold on, let me just catch up on this. Invest 75%, spend it all on new ventures. Yeah, diversifying is, is the way the way forward. Uh, you sold more than 600 glyphs this month, that's pretty amazing. Uh, number of auctions, 5,972. That's huge, uh, Facial Turtle. Um, you hate levelling, but you started levelling a rogue dot goblin and you've hit nearly level 30 without even realising because you're enjoying it so much. Well, that's fantastic, TJ, that's the main thing. Uh, you're selling, hoping that the impending release of BFA or Spurfield to push on. I think it... Drums, buff food and pots. Yeah, I think so, Commander Bond. I think people will... Um, I'm certainly having uh, good sales of drums at the moment. 
you can use the gold for so much at the store it does have a real value that is that is very true joe Ooh, shoulder eye silks looking cheap at 394 yes please to that how much of this have we got i've got 3000 but i'll certainly take i'll take the 32 that's a good one and i'll take i'll take these three i'll bite i'm going to take the two and the one and then we're back up to 497 which i'm actually going to take the 50 and the two tens and then we've got four of 200 exactly five gold which i'm going to take and the 177 and that will keep me stocked up for a while um, just in all of these trade goods she was only one million market value uh, five hours ago wow well let's hope they sell um official turtle um that's when it's locked to battle it kind of makes it not real to you as in yes it's all kind of um it's all locked within blizzard's um economy isn't it which is understandable to be honest um do i want to get anything else let's have a quick look at legion enchanting materials ley lights are at 40 42 that's quite cheap my mat cost is actually 43 and chaos crystals are at 100 gold wow okay um and arcana's down at 12 gold which is below my mat cost now everything is below my mat cost how much of these are below my mat cost there's a few of those ley lights I mean, this is really tanked. They used to be a lot higher than this. More like 70 gold. And Chaos Crystals. Yeah, there's quite a lot here down at 100 gold. People are just dumping their stock, really. I mean, I'm down to 2,200. The leather... Um, which leather? Um, the stone hide leather. I haven't checked that yet. Um, can you buy game tokens and resell when prices go up? And I'm not sure, actually. Uh, greetings, Ignis. The stone hide. I haven't checked yet, Costa. Uh, let me just catch up and chat. I believe, um, to Papa Chop, that they... If you buy it with real money, then you can. But I think if you use gold, you can't resell it, I believe. Uh, should you go buy all the blacksmithing patterns you can craft and see if any sell? Give it a go, TJ, if they're cheap enough. You missed the Diablo three days, making real money on the auction house. Yeah, I've never got into that, uh, Joe, but I did hear people doing that. Trying to craft every single item in game and sell everything. Good luck with that one, TJ. Sorry, I'm going backwards up the chat. It's probably not the best way to do it. Um, yes, okay, I've caught up on that. And then let's head back down. Said hello to Ignis. How are you, Ignis? Hope you're doing well. Um, if you pay with gold and then trying to resell. No, okay. Um... I mean, can you buy it with the gold? You can't resell it. I don't believe so, um, to Papa Chop. I don't believe it works that way. Simple dagger, one silver uh, to buy. Market value, 994. Well, I hope it sells, um, official turtle. Right. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy these because they are, they are cheap. And there's only 50 of them. Which isn't that lot, really. Oh, so if you buy with gold, it go gold, um, it goes soul bound. Okay, Carl. And there we go. Oh, I've got the stamp of approval from Costa for buying them. Now, should I buy ones that are under 150? I mean, one of 22 is at 119 is still worth it. Um, I mean, this is way below my mat cost of 200. Although I could probably manually bump this down a little bit buying things like this 
Um, I'm going to take everything under 125. My setup looks very interesting. Do I get uncomfortable? Not particularly, actually. I tend to uh, move around a little bit and it helps with my posture. So, uh, yeah, it's not your standard uh, setup, that's for sure. Uh, I'm going to take that one and that one and that one. More Chaos Crystals. Just a few. Hey, Jack, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Anyway, I'm going to leave the 64, though. I'm not going to take those. And Ley Lights, because they're under my mat cost, which is an average of both my silk and my uh, stonehide leather. Um, Virtuoso Inking Scent, 7 silver, 50 copper, Fender 864. I'm... I'm are those actual sales that you can get though, Official Turtle? Because um, those do sound impressive prices, but whether they actually sell for that, I'd be interested to know. Jack the Mars Bar. <laughs> um, 42 versus 43. Um, let's take... I mean, actually, what we should do is, as we're buying... We've got so much stone hide, we should really change our map cost four you're still waiting for one <laughs> let's have a look because there's price of the stone hide um let's have a look uh leather working items stone hide was down what's my average purchase price is three gold 80 actually and i do have fourteen thousand stone hide so what i was going to do is actually change my uh, it's not in here, it's in Enchanting Materials. So what we want to do is, um, because my my material cost for... Now this will crash if I use the scroll wheel, so I have to click on it. Arcana and Leylight is based off my average buy of both um, Shaldurai Silk and Stonehide Leather. I can't remember which is which. Uh, let me just look it up. Um, stone hide leather on wowhead gives me the item number 124113. So this one here is the stone hide leather. So rather than using the average buy price of both, I'm now just going to use the average buy price of stone hide leather because I have so much more stone hide leather now and I'm saving my silk for the silk weave satchels. Um, I can see the chats rushing off, uh, so I'll come back and catch up on that in a minute once I've just done this. So the average... I don't know why I've got an average buy there. That doesn't look like like it should be correct. It should be. Let's just simplify this. So what we're looking at is the average buy. Oh, lavish feasts are going. Um, the average buy of stonehide leather times three is what we're going for there. And then for ley light, Lay light shard. We're going to simplify this to the average buy of the stone hide leather, which is item number 124113, times 9. Um, can't see if there's a bracket there. No, there isn't. Right. So that would give me, if I now go into my. Let's do a shopping search. That'll be easier. So my stone hide leather price is three gold eighty. So therefore, looking at we oh, need to keep that open. Looking at my legion enchanting materials, my mat cost is now actually thirty four gold for Leylight and eleven gold for Arcana which therefore makes these not as much of a bargain as they first appeared. There we go. Right, I'm going to catch up on chat. There we go. Now I've done my theory craft. There's loads to catch up on. Um, there we go. Um, 
Those are actual sale prices from the region data. Okay, official turtle. Cool. Well, let's hope they, they you get some good ones. Um, you're broke. Okay, TJ, no worries. And then gold value is worth more than your IRL bank. I think that's the same for most of us. Most of us, TJ. Um, is this stream going to be tomorrow on YouTube? Probably be a, a few days. I'm a little bit behind on um, my streams onto YouTube count, Al. Um, I've got a, a special one I'm doing on Shadow Silk I'm putting up tomorrow. And I have the, under the terms of Twitch, I have to wait at least 24 hours before it goes up on YouTube. Um, but if you really want to watch it between when I've done it on Twitch and when it goes on YouTube, you can watch the VODs on Twitch if you want to. Yeah, it has to be at least 24 hours later, as Costa was saying. Uh, wish you had 400,000 euros. Yeah, I bet you. Um, would invest a bit. Ah, Elemental Gaming, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. And what's the sale rates from those? Uh, these kind of traders will occasionally to lazy players. Yes, that's right. Um, how long does it usually take to edit a YouTube video? Uh, it depends on the speed of your PC. Um, but usually with a decent enough PC, and it depends on how long the YouTube video is, um, something like my streams, I actually go straight from Twitch to YouTube without editing them. Um, but the ones I actually make myself, um, they can, they usually something say like takes half an hour to record would take half an hour to edit. And then maybe I'd leave it, Mr. Potato, running for another sort of twenty odd minutes or so doing the processing, and then you've got to upload it. So it does take does take longer than you think. Um, hey, Scorchine, doing very well, thank you very much. How are you doing? Right. So after that. I think I might manually change my map cost of Chaos Crystals down a little bit based on that. So I'm going to take it down, not to 150 gold, but I'm going to go something like 180 gold. I'm having to do this manually at the moment. Because if Actually, let's see what it would be if I went uh, Materials, Chaos my average buy price is coming in at 228, so I'm still going to have to do this manually because it's definitely less than that. Um, 180 gold, let's set this down to. There we go. Doing pretty good, excellent. Oh, man, I love this community. Yes, it is a very positive community, TJ. Um, okay, Morph, thanks ever so much for stopping by. Um, have a great rest of your day and hope to see you soon. Okay, before I get into any more shopping shenanigans, did that take that? Did what take that? Uh, oh, the um, the the change of the price. Um, it doesn't show straight away, so if I go back into it, it should change. Let me have a look. Um, let's just swap over. It should... Chaos. Yes, it's 180. Yeah. It, does, it doesn't update in TSM4, unfortunately, until you close the window and reopen it. Hot and sweaty. Hot outside today. Yeah, it was a, it was a lovely... Uh, it was a lovely day today. Uh, do I own an owl? Haggis says. I own... Um, the only closest I get to an owl is this little dude. Yeah, it is odd, definitely. Um, it's a good strategy as well. Um, that's why you plan to sell all limited recipes. Yeah, that's pretty good. 28.4 Celsius. Wow, that is that was loads. Right, I'm going to go change over to Awakening. Let's change it up a little bit. 
and do that invasion. So, Earthen's 110, we'll need to get to you at some point, but your awakening is 105. And so we want to get you to 110, and we want to get your alchemy recipes and your alchemy skill up. And you also need to get your um, herbalism skill up. So you need to make sure that you do your herbalism whilst you're doing the Legion quests. Should I check the auction house before I go? Probably worth it, because it's a very tiny amount anyway. Alchemy. <laughs> nice one, I guess. Went out for a drive earlier, parked up, put the roof down with 19 degrees. That's nice, TJ. All right. Um, where's that mailbox? There it is. Um, some expires. Ooh, excellent. We sold Medallion of a Legion for 10,000. That means we've got some capital now. There we go. Um, pet battle is the fastest way to level up, you think? Really? Do you care? So I've never, I've never used um, pet battles for leveling up. Um, we, I think we have a very good mix of uh, very different places here, um, Joe. I think there's quite a lot of um, variety on my stream. Um, so let's do an auction, run a post scan. Yeah, quite a good European contingent. Got a good spread there. And then a few UKs. Quite a few Australias, okay. I wonder what the average amount of gold and liquid in stock that people in general have. And I thought, well, could ask more economy, but those numbers would be extremely skewed. Yes, I bet they would be, uh, Haggis. Ah, excellent, Joe. A Portuguese contingent. Well, we are very welcoming of anyone from anywhere in this stream. Because that's what this stream's all about. Okay, those are on. And let's go to Dalaran. I'm from the moon. <laughs> yes, you are, Jack. So, invasion time. As as a boomkin now, he ate a lot of fish. <laughs> okay. There's a quest that's to hand in, but um, what's that for? Valshara. Okay, let's do this lot first. As Shuna. Off we go. Elvis. <laughs> nice one. Um, if you'd like to um, brain damage, always welcome some company. If you want to send me an invite, I can always team up. Um, going on here. Going to head on to this one first. Yes, that's true, uh, Costa. It's gone now, hasn't it? We love fish, but ate it like four times a week. Uh, getting a pretty good recipe, though. You can never do these invasions alone. If you've used the group finder, it's not too bad. Right now, I have a vlog with every, every character, only for checking. Yeah, it can take a while, can't it? Um, right, let's have a look. So what's this here? Oh. Okay. Let's turn that off for the moment. Oh, this one, I remember this one.
Do it later for your demon hunter. Okay. Uh, you haven't done it either. Okay. Um, let's let's do um, that. Was on for Carl. Shall I make a group up if people want to join in? How how should I do this? I can make groups, can't I? Uh, let's do. Um, how do I do this? Let's make a custom group. I've never done this before. Let's do something new. Pre-made groups. Custom. Start a group. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, Sam uh, Dan plays. Wow. And list the group. There we go. So it's just called Samadan Plays Wow. Okay, anyone EU ally e or EU horde um, would like to join in? They're more than welcome to. Ah, uh, oh, Apple, thank you ever so much for the follow. It's very kind of you. That's getting me ever ever closer. But um, yeah, if you're not, uh, here we go. Here's one. So any, anyone EU horde is more than welcome to join in. You just changed to ally, you'll go back to horde now. <laughs> no worries, Carl, if you can't make it, you can't make it, that's fine. Oh, thank you very much, Apple. Well, how do you like your name pronounced? Is it Apple or APL or AP? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm horde, horde EU for my troll druid. So, um, anyone who is Horde EU is welcome to join in. Yep, here we go. That's a lovely looking owl. Another troll druid. Very nice. It's your initials, but Apple is fine. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. Fell Ruiner is your tune. Okay, cool, excellent. We'll hang on for you. We're just down in the this bottom corner, won the battle for the ruins, at the moment. Oh, I've lost my uh, group finder. To bring that back. Oh, there's my group. It's still there. That's okay. Custom PVE. I've never made a group before. Learning something every day. Whilst we're waiting, I'm just going to go for a little search for herbs. See if I can find any around this area. This is this is the star spawn. Oh, let me just come back. Hold on. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, we've got a couple here. Um, Ishari and Felruna. There we go. Welcome, welcome, everyone. There we go. And I'll put the last one on auto invite, so if anyone comes along. They can literally just come straight in. Uh, auto accept. There we go. So if anyone else wants to join in, they're more than welcome. And then when everyone's here, we'll go through and we'll run through everything. Whilst we're waiting, I'm just going to go for a little, little search for any herbs. See if I can find any. Just do a little circuit around. It's not many. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on, that's probably why. And some... Uh, oh, I'm in combat now. That's probably a bad idea. Must be 
Oh, there's a herb. The herb's right down there next to you. That's a shame. Let's do this one. Ah, there we go. Let's pick up a herb. Alright, how's everyone doing? Nearly there. Gather mate and root. Uh, yes, I have uh, brain damaged. I have. I used to have gatherer on, um, which is quite good, um, but I haven't used gather mate and roots. Um, but I've seen it in action. It does look quite good. Oh, there's something. I mean, I'm just kind of doing this randomly, obviously. But that's going to be useful for me because I'm only at skill level 19 at the moment. So we do definitely need to uh, up our game on the whole herb gathering. Alright, how's everyone doing? Is everyone here? Use Gathermate 2, Root and Carbonite Maps. Oh, I've not heard of Carbonite Maps. There we go. Right. Three bands today, only on Wow Economy Discord. Wow. Oh, it's a map of map all the routes. Right, okay, that sounds cool. Right. Have we got everyone here? Oh, just coming in now. Excellent. Oh, you're coming in, Mosey. Whereabouts are you? Is, is this you, Ishalari? Still going strong on the 15 box. They use third software for botting, sure in it. You reckon? There's uh, Ishalari coming in. So, are you... Ishilari is you. Okay, Joe. Have you got um, Legion flying? Is my question, because if not, I can give you a lift. Don't have a near flying point. Oh yeah, there we go. Um, Falrun is uh, already offered. Such a Such a lovely, kind community. See, this is what I like about the gold-making community. Everyone is very helpful. I had a GM contact you last week when he was farming. Uh, we spoke for five minutes, seeing the FU loan unbanned. No worries. Um, we've got a lift coming in, I think. Yes, there we go. No problem. Glad to help out. If you're using Iceboxer... Um, and by the Discord, okay, cases recently and community can help point you in the right direction if you're in correct band suspension. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, Killer Cowboy, how are you? How are you doing? Right, nearly there. Incoming. Now you don't use Icebox anymore, it costs per month. You made your own script, okay. Doing good, excellent, good to him. Right, are we all here? I need to go into my boomkin form. Right then, oh, I pressed the wrong button. I need to do, I got my rotation right for this. You need to have, I've looked up this, you need to have these on first and foremost. One of those and one of those. And then I only do that when that is open like that. So I'm gonna swap those round. I think that's gonna be easier. There you go. One of those, one of those, and then a three. I think. New moon. And then a 
Oh, everyone's dead. <laughs> Fair enough. Easily done. Um, hey, Porn Easter, how are you? You got it at a sale, that's cool, Raika. Uh, 100 days for 8 euros, that's nice. Um, could not run 15 accounts on one PC, I spoke to. Not to make gold anymore, but back into PvP. No problems, uh, Killer Cowboy. Just dot everything. Okay, Ethel. We'll catch up. Okay, everyone's. Uh, we need to get the um, the last one, don't we? In here. Let's go. Let's go do that. A dot on that. A dot on that. A dot on that. And a dot on that. And a dot on that. Refresh that. Oh, I can do a. Oh, <laughs> too late. They're all dead. There we go. <clears throat> PvP healer main. Nice. Right. Um, you need to lift to the next place. Hold on. Let me find my mount. I've lost all my things. Where's my mount? Soaring. Not that one. Um, didn't even realise I had that one. Where's my... Um, this one. That's what I wanted. Pop that there. There we go. Right, okay. Okay, TJ, thanks ever so much for uh, stopping by. Um, by chance you have a character with tailoring jewel crafting, preferably together. Um, I have tailoring and enchanting, but not jewel crafting yet. Okay, are we all, we're all done with this one, aren't we? We need to move on to the next one. Um, let's go down to this one, Drozek. Does anyone need a lift? There we go. Oh, you're in combat still. Everyone ready? Off we go. So we're going to head down for this. This one. Where are you? Slightly further south. Let's go up over the... There you are. Drozek is dead. Go back over to dismount. There you go. And wait for him to come. There you go. I guess you could disenchant Bliss would be the my thinking around that. Are uh, you going to go soon? Uh, check on Alden Boss. If you want to tag along, you're welcome to for high society. Talk. Thank you, Pornice. It's very kind of you. Uh, we're currently just doing invasions at the moment, but kind of you to offer. Right, let's wait for this to respawn. Probably won't take too long. Here he comes. Actually flies in. This is quite a nice one. Right. Wait for you to come in. A dot and a dot. And then this half moon stuff. Full moon. And then... And then... Oh, we need to do that other one. This one. E. Got to remember to do that. And then I can do... Lunar Strike with a charge on, and that with the charge on. Oh, I'm dying. Hold on. Let's move out of the way. Let's focus on myself a little bit. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Heal thyself, Druid. Not enough mana. That's an interesting one. Right. Put your dots back on. Run out of the falling stuff, because that's dangerous. Heal myself. Oh, more, more stuff keeps dropping on me. Interesting. Everyone else is doing all right. There we are. Excellent. No one died. Did we loot? Yes, we did. Let's just give that a little bit of a boast. Okay. Right. Everyone got a lift. Let's go on. 
straight north to the 630 Malserius one. This one to the north, I think, be the next one to do, and then we can hang around to the right and then do up the top. So currently still 105. Not doing too bad. That should be nearby here, but it's down here somewhere. What have you got? Turn this one off. That one off. Oh, wait for the respawn. Oh, behind me. I'm done. Dots on. Dots on. Then E. Oh, I can't do E, so let's do three. Oh, that got a lot quicker. Oh, that's because I was on the wrong thing. There we go. Then that. Then an E. And then I do the four lunar strike and that one. I think that should work. See you, Roka. Thanks ever so much for stopping by. Let's do some heals here once again. Oh, thank you, Mozatov. Very kind of you. Right. Have I got all my dots on? Oh, there's something behind me. That one. Now, clear in. Get your dots on. Press the E. I'm doing very little damage here. I realise that. There we are. That's cool. So now we can head on up and to the right on that XP one. Release the Wardens. That should be the next one. I can see there's herbs, but I'm going to have to uh, miss those. Ah, the Greenway one. 48 DPS, that last rare. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I have Good job I haven't got any DPS meters on. Right, objectives. There we go, 10%. Oh, I've aggroed some things. Looks like everyone's aggroed some things. Let's do some... I'll just dot everything up. And make sure I'm healed. I seem to be getting a bit of a death ray. There we are. Okay, which way are we going? We're over this direction. Oh, we can release these. That will help. And then I'll help with these ones over here. Or oh, at 80% already. Oh, we've gotten those ones. Okay, excellent. Hey Rune, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Release the dragons. Have we done all the dragons? We've got, how many we've got? 93%. There we go, there's one over here. I'll release this one whilst they are being otherwise occupied. Yeah, that was easy. So now we can head to that one in the north, the XP one, the weaving fell webs. Let's go. On. Release the dragon. Is that right, Apple? Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, official turtle. That's that's how I like it to be. Just 
Right, everyone's here. That's good. Oh, slowly there. There we go. Just catching up. Oh, she's awesome. Excellent. That's good to know. Oh, this one. Now oh, these things can kill. So I have to uh, have to be a bit careful with these. Let's all stick together. The eggs is the tricky one. So let's let's see what we can do. Uh, the eggs. Oh, there's some eggs over here. What else do we do? Uh, eggs destroyed. Twenty eggs and citizens rescued. Oh, here's a here's a citizen. Oh, we've done that one already. There's a web victim. Would that work? Let's try that. There we go. That will help, I think. And then, oh, no, hold on. Yes, we rescued. There we go. Uh, little secret item for you. Draenic silk robes and the Traveller's Tundra Mammoth. Oops. I meant to be in travel form. Hold on. Let's do this one whilst we're here. And three. Half moon. Uh, Tundra Mammoth Fender. Sells for 2,200. Ooh, that's nice. Well, that was, that was a big, a big thing, whatever that was. Lunar Strike. Oh, I'm doing doing some actual damage here. Solar Wrath. And that one. There we go. Okay. Let's just take to the skies. So I'm out of danger. So the last one is down here. Commander Vorlax. Is everyone here? Ooh, 75k DPS. Excellent. Almost one level. Yeah, me too. That's excellent. Getting better brain damage. Definitely. I've got no idea what uh, what standard DPS really I should be doing. I've got no idea. Sell rate is under 0 0.01 whenever they do sell. Oh, for the... Um, Draenic Silk Robes. Yeah, so if they sell, that's good. Um, how far away are we? Oh, we're nearly there. Ah, here you are. Let's join in the party late. Hold on. One of those. One of those. Let's get this rotation going. New moon, half moon. Full moon. Press E. And then press 4. Oh, don't get burnt by stuff. Well, I might do some healing help, actually. Let's just move out of the way there. And then do a dot. Was I actually killing the right person? Hold on. Let's just go clickety on me. And then that one. And a 2. And a 1. And an E. And a lunar strike. And a solar strike. Run out of the way. Oh, need to do another one. What's that? Four, five. It's that one solar wrath. Oh, brain, brain needs some healing. Let's just top up with that. There we go. So one for twenty-four hours. Hey, Max, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. So pushing more than one up is nearly pointless. Yeah, that would make sense, Costa, wouldn't it? There you are. And let's pop, pop those dots back on. One of those, one of those, and then one of my new moons, and an E, and a four. Hey, there we go. Where's learning? Fantastic job, everyone. Oh, and Bloodhunter's Quarry as well, which gave us a Blood of Sargeras. Fantastic. And we've got a level. Excellent. Ah, oh, Zircon, thank you ever so much for the follow. Thanks for stopping by. Congratulations, everyone, who got a level up with that. That was a very nice little bit of Legion leveling. So well done, everyone. I'm going to uh, swap over to Earthen. So I'm going to head back to... Where shall I head back to? I'm going to head back to Orgrimmar. So um, I'll disband the group first. 
Actually, no, I'll keep it in there for the moment. I'll see any time you want to handle that. It's very kind of you. It's always good fun. And I'm not normally hoard as well, so it's nice to be able to do stuff with people who are hoard. Andy you. The other thing is maybe one day get an NA account as well. But that would be a much much further in the future thing, I think. Okay, Carl. Cool. Well, thanks ever so much for that. That was great fun. You play Ally and Horde, so if you need a hand, give you a shout. That's very kind of you. Oh, the Senius. Thank you ever so much for the follow. Oh, new request coming in. Let's add that one on. There we go. Right. Okay, so I'm going to log out and log in as the Horde of the Baddies. No, there's no such thing in my eyes as uh, baddies. I would say everyone has a story, and if everyone showed a little bit of kindness and understanding, we'd be able to understand each other's stories, and there would be no such thing as baddies and goodies. But that's just me. That's my take on the world. Obviously, everyone else has their own, which is what makes us all unique and makes the world an interesting place. Uh, thanks for the info for getting the surf and turf. You got got the half you're missing. Excellent, Molly. Excellent. Glad you got it. So, Urfan. My dearest Urfan, where are you at with your Drums of Fury sales? Lots of expires. Order different. Exactly, Joe. Did I sell the Obliterum? Um, I can't remember, Costa. But last time we looked, it wasn't worth... I think I did sell the obliterum I had. But I don't think I sold... I uh, don't think I picked up any more, because the Hesalian was a different price. A different point of view, exactly. A uh, faction that has buildings that look like five years old. <laughs> In Ikea. <laughs> Ever seen that sketch? Are we the baddies? No, Max, I haven't seen that one. Yes, I think so, Joe. Um, so, journeying robes of the Aurora. That's a nice one. Uh, well, let's open those up. Currently sitting at 56,000 on Urfan. So, let's get these auctions back on first. So, we'll run a post scan. I could do with a few more. How many has Sam got on the auction house? 355. So plenty of bear tatar still on. So we don't need to restock on the huge amount of stock that Earthen has just yet. But we will put all these on. And then we need to have a look at what we can... We need... We made some Drums of Fury from the uh, raw beast hide that we collected the other day. Um, so what we do need to do is have a look at, um, see if we can buy some more so that we can make some more Drums of Fury. I'm expecting the price to be a little bit high, simply because of the Mage Tower. Let's have a look and see where it's at. We'll post these on. We can also do the daily cooldowns, uh, but let's do some shopping first. Leather working items. So, stone hide is a good price. 102% of my average buy though, so we don't really need to buy any more at the moment. Raw beast hide was what we were looking at. That's for our drums of fury. We've only got two, so how much raw beast hide is there so it's looking at three gold 91 i had been buying it for three gold 68 so 91 is not too bad i won't get anything for four gold though but i'll buy these ones that we have got i'll take that and i'll take the seven of 50 Five, six, seven. One more. 
and I'll take the 46 and then I'll leave the rest um, because we don't really need that there we are hey infinity how are you how can you get TSM4 you can get it uh, one of two ways at the moment you can sign up for the beta which is command I've got a command TSM4 which gives you a link there to sign up for the beta and when they release more um, beta keys in the future then whoever's first in the list gets the next ones and so on and so forth um, or if you want it straight away uh, if you sign up for premium then you'll get immediate access to the beta and then you can join in with the beta program and all the fun that that ensues entails is the word I'm looking for there Uh, let's go pick that up from the mail. Raw beast hide, collecting up. So we have 428. How many drums can we make with that? We'll just basically make them all. Uh, wow, well, user interface, we can make 85. Well, that's a start. Um, we don't actually have... We have 60 on the auction house, okay, so another 85 will be useful. 44. Oh, 44 drums. Oh, we have 44. Hey, Sephorium, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Um, oh, are you guessing the number from the from the amount of raw beast hide we had? Normally I can't, so uh, even even a small chance of doing it cost is a great a great thing to be able to do. So I'm imagining I've got some on that have been undercut. What are mine on for? Doesn't actually say, does it? Solve a 49 average. Currently, min normal is 39, max is 97. 100 hide is 20 drums. Okay. Well, that makes it easier, doesn't it? I wonder if I should do a burnished leather as well for the daily. I'll leave that for now. I think drums are more important to me at the moment. Haven't really got any magnificence for uh, cooldowns. Could do with some farming on earthen now that our skinning's a little bit higher and we need to get that leather working up which means we need to do some leather working quests which is another thing to think about just to get that last 20 20 points want to feel like I've progressed um, each session I have so I've progressed tonight because um, Joe Awakening's got another, another level um, but we haven't done much progression in terms of professions. Um, so I'm thinking if I do a bit of progression on Earthen's leather working. Better go for the bears. Yeah. Um, they're good, aren't they, for the stone hide, isn't it? Another way to get the raw hide is just go to your drain or garrison and get the resources that are still being gathered. Uh, then you can buy the hide from the traders. Ah, yes, you can do that, can't you? Um, I haven't been stocking up on my garrison resources with this with this person. Or just go farm it. Yeah, there are there are. It's always an option for something, depending on what you would enjoy the most and what's the best use of your time. So we've got choices. We've certainly got choices. Oh no, you got disconnected from Titch Chapel. Sorry to hear that. Well, glad to have you back. Right, those drums we're going to put straight on. Uh, oh, load of stuff's going to expire, actually. Let's do those whilst we're here. Um, cancel those and cancel those drums. 
There we go. But first do the quest in the sewer to get the skinning trick. To get stomachs from skinning. Ah yes, there was the um his mother's skinning knife, isn't it? Uh run post scan. Is that what we need to do? Drums going on. Let's go to the mail. Oh, overshot. Pick that up. Um, skinny knife from the Stormheim quest chain. Right, okay. And keep an eye out for the skinning daily. Okay. Oddly shaped stomach when you're skinning. Uh, get the knife from the skinning quest line. Right. So let's have a look. Um, hold on. Wrong, wrong button. Let's do this post scan and then we can go to um, Dalaran and have a look at what we what we need and what might be up. And then we can actually do a restock here as well. That would be progress. Yes. So let's post these. So am I looking for a world quest? Or is it literally just a um, go somewhere in Stormheim and pick up the quest? Um, let's just check this. Um, da -da -da -da. Shopping we did. Auctions we're checking. They're fine. So now we go back to leatherworking and do a restock. If there's anything else we can restock on. Um, if a group of NPCs you find and get a quest from them. Right, okay, Molin. Let's have a look. Crafting, groups, leatherworking, drums and quillin, which we can't do at the moment, but that's fine. Something drain ore. Okay, let's have a look here. So, world quests. I don't have world quests unlocked, interestingly. So I've got some questing to do, just to unlock those. Probably speak to Archmage Kadgar. That'll be one, won't it? Right, we've got, we've got things we need to do here. Something in drain or for the um, the skinning knife. Yeah, so there's, there's there's definitely lots of things we can do here. It's just a question of picking something to progress on. So I'm thinking, well, we need to unlock world quests. That would be a thing, which will be this one, I imagine. Uniting the Isles. There we go. Oh, that's the Lutarang one. Okay. There's so many different things. Hold on. Alright, let's start with this one. Oh, I clicked on the thing. I meant to click on Kadgar, but I clicked on the portal thing. Uh, well, that sucks. Where did this take us? Oh, we're down here. What are we doing here? Leatherworking. Um, well, these... These aren't going to be... much help, are they? Okay, well, let's, uh... try it. Whilst we're here. She must have come this way. Keep looking. Okay. Um... Kind of worth it to finish your case, get a Nightborn Emissary, yeah. Until you finish that unlock, okay. Opening Suramar quest line. Oh, right, okay. Okay, thank you, Costa. I'll check that one out after the stream. Okay, well, we've got to, we've got to start something up, so... 
this this is all progress getting these quests sorted using the art of button mashing we are going to be playing our demon hunter tank so what do we need to do here um, warlord Parages Harla Harbuck? Is this the one? Trail of Echoes, it's this one. We want here. Faint uh, echo revealed. So it's for ripples in the very fabric. Decrypting echo. There we go. Ah, right, okay. There we go. Thank you, Molin. See, but you can tell I've only done this once. Need to keep moving. Okay. Um, well, okay. Well, you found me, so let's do. Let's do some more button mashing. Might as well get this opening stuff sorted. Something is progress. Right. Jump! Yeah, we should should have time to do this one, I think. Don't know how long this quest line is. Mishmash, button mash. I could probably do with uh, interrupting. What's an interrupting things? Oh, we got something. That was him. Oh, you can buy one for like 500 gold. Ah, okay. Where was that? Is it over here? Yeah, I think I have to do this one. What's my interrupt spell? I'm going to have to one. Let's go. Consume magic. That one. Number four is my interrupt spell. It's useful to have to know that for a tank. Alright, can we do our... Here it is. Okay, Carl, well, thanks ever so much for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon. Oh, here we go. Arcane Bolt. Oh, this one we want to interrupt. Right, where's she gone? She went off this way. So I'll fly, fly this bit. This is loads of them around. Oh, I bet you're over here. Where are you? Ah, this direction. Okay, I can bypass those. The flying, that's handy. Okay, next one. Ah, uh, here we go. Erasmus. Oh, I'll help out if you can. Do I? Okay, I'll leave you. Erasmus slain. Well, okay, well. There you go. Go around this way. Outlander. I, I'm a demon hunter. Do that, do that, hit that. Oh, okay, this is quite interesting. Now the suppression. I should have interrupted that one, though. Let's wait for another spell. I can interrupt that. Let's 
let's click some of these other buttons. Oh, there we go, interrupt that. Sigil of Mastery. Let's metamorphosis into something a bit more demony. See if we can do a bit more damage. Demon spikes, that could be good. Fiery brand. Let's just hit everything. Oh, that's done a bit more damage. There we go. This is a bit better. Suramark campaign. We got this. We got this. This is fine. There we go. That's done. So let's just hop on over to the next area. Where are you? Oh, you're in here. First Arcanist, after I received my message, I much to tell you, escort to safety. Okay. We shall escort you. I am a tank after all. Here they come. This is my fate as well. Unless. Look out! Erath Omnas! Oh, they're out here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now we've got them. Ah, Thor Bears, thank you ever so much for the follow. It's very kind of you. Did we get them all? I've got one more to go. Kill the channelers. Ah, thank you. Let's aggro them up. Lovely. Thank you, everyone. I've got to say, you have a nice positive five. Uh, turn your stream off for some background noise, and your attitude is making you feel all wholesome. Oh, thank you, um, Senius. Very kind of you to say so. Oh, hold on. I'm with you, I'm with you. Where's me? Where's me, E? goes okay I'll help you all oh, the channelers that's it we want to stop channelers we've got we got this there we go start some button mashing oh hold on right in the middle there we go and then we can do some more button mashing and a Q will always help I'll run out of those I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, thank you, Joe. Very kind of you. Here's our, here's our entrance. This is our secret base. I know this place. I spent m many a time here as Samadan. Oh. I got you. It's okay. Bandage. Let's see. Yeah. Patch this up. I'll explain everything. Oh, here we go. Cinematic. Years ago, my city was radiant, the jewel of the Night Elf Empire, Suramar. Our people prospered for centuries until the Legion. I haven't seen this in ages. Entranced by the power they offered, our queen betrayed us to the ruin of the world. As destruction drew ever closer, 
That was Ashara, wasn't it? To conjure a powerful shield that would save our beloved city. It worked. Yeah, it's pretty cool, Joe. I haven't done the final one. I do love these cinematics. Slowly, it changed us. And ultimately, drew the Legion once more to our gates. They offered us a trade. The Nightwell for our lives. And oh, thank you, Thorbez. Glad you found me. Yeah, it is. It is nice. Um, this is the only the second time I've done this. I haven't finished the um, the Illidan one in Argus yet. Only the, only the beginning one. So that was the Suramar introduction. Okay, that would be awesome, uh, Thorbez. I haven't seen... Our I think I've gotten hints of things, but I haven't seen everything. Um, find something to state the first. Ah, okay, so we need... We need some uh, mana. Mana crystals. Here we are. Pick these up. Crystallize ancient mana. Oh, ancient keepers coming in on me now. Okay, I'm gonna have to attack you, but I'm a bit stuck, so let's make some space. And then we can do some proper attacking. There we go. Am I pressing the wrong buttons? I am. There we go. That's why I was moving around everyone. Where it does the thing. With the with the, with the thing that has the stuff that has the magic the magicness in it oh we got more hold on there we go let's attack these you watch them on your TV all night it just feels calm calm and nice yes <laughs> that's fantastic uh, Joe alright whilst we're here oh we need what's attacking us a keeper oh the keeper up there okay right there we go Um, we need to get the keeper. That's what's stopping us. Keeper Selin Selinia. There we go. Do the crystals after that. Yeah, I need to. Is she actually even dying? No, I don't think so. I need to do. Oh, I can't see. Hold on. No, that's not going to work. Okay, let's move around. Ancient Keepers. We kill those. There we are. <laughs> yes, it's been, it's been known, hasn't it, Mama Kinder? So how do we kill the Keeper? Oh, you're in a shield, that's right. And so what's, what's collecting the shield? Let's work this out. Hold on. The Eternal Tethers. Yes, we can see these now. I remember. It's been so long since I've done these. Oh, completely missing them. It's doing a terrible job of hitting these. Calling forth Ancient Keepers. Yep, we're getting your tethers though. Where's your other tether? I saw another one. And then, oh, there's another tether there. Do that tether. As long as I don't fall off somewhere. Ch 
chasing something that's moving is quite difficult as a demon hunter. Tank. Melee. I'm using my ranged boomerang thing. That seems to be doing a, a little bit more damage. I hope she doesn't make another tether in all this time. Yeah. Several times. Several times. Oh yes, with the sleeping, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's calling forth ancient keepers. Hold on, let's do a... There we go. Oh, another tether. Right. Now we should be able to do the keeper. Yeah, let's run around. She's vulnerable. Alright. Let's do the attacking stuff. There we go. Keep a... I can't really do much because I'm not ranged. Hold on, let's get close. Can we actually do anything? Well, 79%. We're actually doing some damage. That's cool. We'll just do... I want you to do our tanky stuff. The sounds they make are quite scary, aren't they? The ghostly sounds. You came back to Bow Wow two months ago after Kata. Wow, okay, yeah. Um, that's quite a difference, um, isn't it, Thorbears? I myself had a break of... Um, when was it? I fin I had a break, Wrath of the Lich King, and then um, missed Cataclysm, missed Pandaria, missed um, Warlords of Draenor, and came back after Legion had launched, once I heard such good things about it, and catching up on it was, it was a real breath of fresh air. Okay, we've sorted that out. Finally got there. Slightly longer than I was expecting. One day at a time. So, Cloak of the Ever-Living Keeper. We want to... Oh, we don't need the extra XP now, because we're already 110. So is this an upgrade? Uh, we'll lose the Critical Strike or gain Haste and Mastery. Mastery's good for a Demon Hunter, isn't it? There we go. Okay. Anyone play on the classic server also? I've not done that show myself. Um, I might be interested in trying it out once Blizzard release it. But I think I'll stick with um, the main game as it is. Not that bothered missing out on Pandaria Drainer, to be honest. Pandaria, I think, is beautiful. Um, I'd like to explore it casually myself. Um, Draenor I did for the flying achievement. And to be honest, it grew on me over time. I'm glad I didn't do it at the when it was out. But um, yeah, I wasn't that sort of impressed with Wars of Draenor when I first saw it. That's right. I'm a demon hunter. I can float. There you go. Strange. The floor looks like a map. And we are at the center. One thing is certain. Ley line energy is being fed into this chamber from elsewhere. Yeah, this is quite a long What could have required Surma is such a long quest line, isn't it? Yeah, I've got, I've, you know, I'm not following too much the alpha, um, because A, it's an alpha, and B, I don't want to do too many spoilers, but I'm, I've got, I've got hopes, um, there's going to be something fun in it, I'm sure. At least we know the withered have learned to avoid this place. I'd like to see what happens with the storyline. Think to search for us here. 
It is a perfect refuge, a temporary home, until I can return to Suramar. I have to finish the Suramar campaign on Samadan. I will need allies. Right, okay, so... Greetings. There we go. Right, I'm not going to pick these ones up for now. Actually, I will pick them up because she um, she loses her um, her thing with the mana. So let's pick them up for now, and then we've got them. Okay. Hey, Silent Second, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. So I think we've made progress here with Irfan with the campaign. It wasn't leather working, but it was at least a start. So that's something at least. So we're going to pop back to Dalaran and see if we can do that Kadigar hand in. That was one of them, wasn't it? I'll come back to this another time. Because the, um, the Suramar campaign isn't essential just yet. Can you help your um, TSM groups at cooking? Sure can, Silent Second. Um, what do you need? Your crafting is not putting all that it should. So what have you got for your group? Um, my group for cooking. Food. All my food pretty much has the same group operation on it. I have cooking in, oh crafting, cooking generic is my standard cooking and so my operation restock quantity settings maximum restock quantity is 56 of anything and my minimum profit is 20% crafting is what I've set mine at. So not, I think everything in my cooking, oh, we're on earth and so we can't see, um, can't see what my profits are on them. But those are my basic ones, operation wise. Is there anything different you've done with yours? Let's go over to Kadigar this time. Uniting the Isles is what we wanted. The fate of our world. Uniting the Isles. You'll learn the following world quests. Excellent. And a flight master's whistle. Even better. Oh, yeah. oh you had the minimum price wrong. Okay, fantastic. Glad I could help with that one. Um, well, this is the thing. Um, with... It's not... This is something I asked um, Muffins on the Discord. So with the crafting operation, it is just profit. It's not including the cost. So... Even though other things you have 110% um, crafting or 120% crafting, with the actual crafting operation, what you um, what you do is you don't count the 100%. So you just say 20% crafting. So it's not it that actually means 120% crafting. So it's kind of um, a difficult one, really. It's a bit confusing, I think. Because it's saying profit, um, it's on top of the crafting cost. Um, but the wording isn't very clear about it. How do you calculate your mat costs if you farm them? For example, bear tartar, if you farm the bear steaks. I would still probably take into account, say, maybe DB market price or something like that, Occupa, because your time does have a value. And I guess that value is the price that you could sell them for.
so you suggested so you had the suggested one of max um, either the maximum between either 10 gold or 10 percent crafting oh, okay oh okay you did okay it wasn't that oh right oh your chat's broken that's a shame okay I'm with you now So is that is that working for you anyway? Complete world quests, broken isles, world quests. There we go. Skin the fell high gargantuan. That's interesting. Skinning quests. That moment when your sails go instantly. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty good. Silent second. I do like it when that happens. Right, okay. Um, let's hearth back. I think we're done with this bit. Probably going to finish it up there, I think. As I've got work tomorrow. Can't go too late on a, on a school night. It... It is very overwhelming, Thor Bears, but believe you me, um, if you take it step by step, just a little bit at a time, it slowly, it does, it does make sense over time. Um, just start with a small group and get to know that, and then you can work on the crafting, you can work on the other things, and just start small and grow it, and it does, it does get easier. Uh, Blingtron. What did we get from Blingtron? Couple of things. Excellent. Oh, hey, wow, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Unfortunately, we're just about to be finishing the stream, but thank you ever so much for stopping by. Um, yes, there's guides on the TSM website, and anyone, um, lots of people can, um, and will help out on the Discord and everything. Uh, what do I do for work? I'm not a teacher, actually, Joe. I'm a uh, visual effects artist, so I do computer graphics for a living. And on YouTube, yeah, there's some good. Um, Bregvids has got some good guides on TSM for noobs. He's called it, and Hazel Nutty Games has done a good guide for um, TSM three. I've got a few guides myself on YouTube. Um, they're kind of uh, various things between, um, but I've got a, a playlist. Where is it? Um, YouTube. I think that's one. There we are. That's a link to my channel that's got a few TSM guides in there, as well as all my streams that I put on. Yeah, the Hazel ones uh, are pretty good for absolute beginners, um, and they take you through the things. I haven't watched them myself in a long time, so uh, I'm only going on second-hand knowledge of those. Right, um, so I think I'll finish it up there. Um, So that's for me. Yeah, that's how that's how Bregs Bregs got it. Oh, thank you, well, for the cheer. It's very kind of you. Wow, it's taken up to six hundred. That's amazing. And Hazel is awesome. Yes, definitely. Um, so thank you, thank you, everyone, for hanging out in the stream tonight. It's been lovely having your company. Um, my next stream is on tomorrow night, um, Thursday night. Um, I'm trying to try and go on a bit earlier, I think. I'm scheduled to come on earlier, so hopefully get a bit longer tomorrow. Um, so hopefully get to catch you then. Um, you can always find my videos on YouTube, and uh, I have a Discord and a Twitter account. You can catch up on my news there. So thank you, everyone, for hanging by. Let's see if we can find someone to host in my list of people. We have the lovely pointy gnome on. Oh, thank you, Mick, for the follow. That's very kind of you. Um, so, pointy gnome, I think we'll send a host over to. So, thank you, everyone. Um, let's type in...
there we go, right. So I'm going to send the host over to Pointy Gnome, um, who is doing probably loot appraiser challenge, he usually does, or a bit of farming. Let's have a look, see what Pointy Gnome's up to. But yes, Pointy Gnome's a very nice, chilled, relaxed person, does some good gold making. So if anyone would like to pop on over, say hello, I'll throw the host over. And so until next time, um, have a great evening everyone, and I'll see you very soon. Take care and happy gold making.